Greetings, Rand, and welcome. Today we are in John chapter 3, comparing our Latin text of verses 17 through 19 to our Greek text. This is the second to last Contextus Rex video that we have for this paragraph, so we're almost there. So very close. Let's get started. For the God did not send Aristens the Son into the world. For God did not send his own son, perfect tense, into the world. So we've got his own in there, but we don't have it in the Greek. If you recall from our previous section where we did this, there was a variant to the text where we had a possessive form in one of the Greek texts, not the oldest, so it may not have been there, but is what Jerome had available. So I'm not going to call that as an issue. It's perfectly fine with me. It's a reflexive, which is great. It tells us exactly whose son. That's nice. Perfect tense and aorist tense match. Let's move on. In order that purpose clause, he may judge the world. And this time we've got a third singular aorist or present subjunctive. It is not quite clear which of those two forms in the Greek is the correct one, at least without my <laughs> koine texts. So take a look at this. In order that we've got a purpose clause again, he may judge present tense. So that's what Jerome went with, present, instead of taking this as the aorist. So that's fine. World, world, nice. Emphatic, but. Purpose clause again, the world may be saved, aorist tense, through him. But, just a normal but, so no emphasis there. The Greek, not the Greek, the Latin could have done that, I think, with the word ak. Ak would have made it emphatic. But then again, there might be some obscure rule why ak is not appropriate in front of ut. Maybe, I, I have no idea. I don't have the right book to look and look up that either, or the time. So we've got salvator. This is also going to be present tense. Aorist tense here. So ooh, that 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 one right there is an issue. Perfect tense would have been better. So I, I suppose it, it's an issue, but a really minor minor issue. I'm going to put minor issue. So tense uh, perfect would have been closer to the aorist, but I can understand why be necessary to do that but another purpose clause there so that's good the world subject subject through him through him yeah, that's fine the believing the present active participle in him who believes in him present tense with a relative clause instead of a participial phrase so that's fine is not judged in the latin we've got the present tense passive indicative are not judged oh when did i put are that's that's stupid is not judged. Okay, my error right there. So, we've got a present passive judged. We've got a present passive judged, so that's good. We want to shift this up. Barely make out the top of my phone. Okay. But the not believing present tense participle already have been judged. D Perfect tense right there. Who but does not believe already has been judged. So we've got present tense, perfect relative clause. So not believing, participle in the present tense, so relative clause, that's fine. Day and autem, they go together. Already and yam, good. Kekretai, perfect and perfect. So far, so good. Because they have not believed, perfect tense, in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Because, quia, he did not. Why did I write down there? Gosh. Another issue in my Greek. I'm sorry about that. Where did it go now? He, should be lowercase, has... I don't know why that happened. So... These two, identical, so that's great. In name, in name. Only begotten Son of God. Only begotten. So far, so good. This and this is the judgment that. This is judgment, but day, so far, so good. That light came. Is that even visible? Oh gosh, that is very, barely visible. Just sketch it up one more time. Oh, 
Oh boy. I hate it when this happens. Light came Eris tense into the world. So Eris, light came, could be present or it could be perfect. In the Latin, since we know that this is the Eris tense, we know that the perfect here is the correct one. Present is incorrect. Came is correct. So far, so good. And then into world. And the men Aristens loved rather the darkness than the light. And men perfect tense goes with the Aris tense. That's good. Rather darkness than light. Good, good. So we got imperfect there were for their bad works. Works is plural. Imperfect verb. And we've got here works is plural. Imperfect verb. Now the Latin verb is plural, but the Greek verb is singular. Even though it's got a plural subject, that's completely normal. Latin doesn't operate the same way with the neuter tense. Not neuter tense. That's where did that cover? With with the neuter nouns and verbs, as does Greek. So there's no issue there. As I look at this, the only thing that we have is the minor issue of not matching tenses as best as it is possible for Latin. That being said, it is something so tiny. Why even bother? I think we're good. Yeah, good job, Latin. Uh, since we've got clearly a present here with this eudicet, I can understand why we would do that, especially since how unclear the form of this one is in either aorist or present. So yeah, no, no complaints on my part. Way to go, Latin. I think I've already said that two or three times. Thank you very much for joining me. Have a good day. Hey, not asleep yet? That's okay. I've got tons of other equally sleep-inducing videos for you to watch. Check them out.